Hello guys, today I'm interviewing James McCarthy. He is one win, one draw, one defeat. And my first question is, what? how do you feel after um, your last fight? Were you happy with the, your performance? Um, I boxed Jordan Gramian. I, I think the fight was a bit of a mad one, wasn't it? I think if you've watched it, it was a bit of a war. I got drawn into a war instead of boxing them. I should have boxed a bit longer. It was um, The decision was a draw. After watching a back, I believe, even in a fight, I thought I'd done enough just to nick it. But he probably thinks the same as well. But he caught me with a big shot in the first round, um, which kind of levelled the game gameplay out of it. So... I don't know, really. I, I'm, I'm happy with how the fight went because it was a good war, but I know I could have boxed a lot better than what it is. So you're, disappoint, you're disappointed with your performance? Um, no, no, I'm not disappointed with my performance. I'm just disappointed with the war. Cause like, I had a game plan and boxing and keeping it long and boxing on my back foot and just letting him come to me instead of going straight in for the war. Um, he caught me in the first round and he caught me good, so I'm not going to lie. But... After he called me, the game plan went out the window and it was literally just man for man. It was literally punch for punch. So let's just let went for it, innit? But um, yeah. it was a bit to, of a... Are you going to rematch him? Um, I'm not, I'm not asking for a rematch now. Like I would I would box him again if the he's a bit heavy. Like I think the fight like I'm trying to come down to like middleweight. I think he's just super middleweight. Um I, I, I am I'm a light middleweight fighter and my last couple of fights haven't been light middleweight, so I've had it quite hard to be honest, but um, I'm boxing the 11th of June. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be boxing on that day. Hopefully, it'll be a light middleweight fighter because the last yeah. couple of fights have been big kids. Well, you, you did make your debut last year, didn't you, against yeah. Sergi? Yeah, Bobo, yeah. The, he, that was a light middleweight fight, and I won that fight. Um, and I boxed quite clever. I boxed quite good on that fight. I kept it long, kept it, kept it out of danger, didn't go do nothing stupid. But... Um, Hopefully that will happen again on the eleventh. Yeah. What went wrong in um your second fight? <laughs> Everything went wrong in that fight from the very first start. I shouldn't have been boxing that fight. That fight was a stupid fight. Um, I was supposed to be boxing in December, and um, the whole show got cancelled, and I wasn't going to be boxing again until this year. And I kind of spat my dummy out a bit. I wasn't happy with the the, the, the show being cancelled because I needed I needed that fight. I needed that um. That fight money, to be honest, and I got offered a fight late notice, and I took it. And I know Dexter very well. He's a good, well, he's, he's a friend of mine, and he is a good, he's a good fighter, a strong fighter. But I gave away six pounds on a day. I only got no, I got, I got a phone call a, a day before, and first round was a bit. When watching it, the second round he caught me with a body shot. I've tried to grab onto him, and I had to take the knee. And then after I took the knee, I tried to stand up with a game plan. To just survive the round, but give him credit. Like he come at me and he caught me in exactly the same spot with a big body shot. And I win 100 percent I'm not gonna make no excuses. It shouldn't have really been took the fight, but I took the fight and I got caught and it is what it is, it won't happen again. It was a lesson. Yeah. So on the eleventh of June, where are you fighting? I'm gonna be boxing in the Olympia in Liverpool. Wait, is that the same arena you fought in last time? Yeah, I've, I've only boxed. I've only had my first three of um, arenas. I've boxed there. I haven't boxed anywhere else yet. It's crazy. Would you like to uh, box somewhere else in the future? Yeah, well, funny enough, I was. Um, I got offered to box on a BT Sports show against James Hennigan. Um, but I think that whole show got cancelled the other day. But on the 29th of April, I got offered to box him on it. But because I was boxing the week before in the Olympia, the boxing boards wouldn't allow me because it was six days in between. But um, yeah, I'd love, to, I'd love to box all over, anywhere abroad, up north, anywhere. I'd, I'd love that. Oh, so you were meant to find that James Hennigan? Yeah, well, I got, I got, offered, to, I got offered to box him. Like I said, yeah, they said, yeah, we both said, yeah. Um, but the boxing boards wouldn't allow it because I was boxing on the 23rd. They wouldn't allow me to box on the 29th as well. So I was a bit disappointed with that. And I was already tied up with the 23rd to show because I only got offered it a couple of days before the 23rd. So I couldn't even cancel the show. And I would have boxed on the BT Sports show all day. Do you think you'll you'll get another offer to fight him? Um, 
I'll, to be honest, I'm not really out calling anyone out at the moment, but I'll, I'll, I'll box anyone. Um, like, I boxed amateur for years, and I, I've been out of sport for a few years. I've, I only turned pro last year after being out of sport for a couple of years, so I'm just trying to catch up. I'm just trying to find my pace and see where I'm at. I've had three good fights against three good kids, and they've been, they haven't been the easiest start to my pro career. So anyone that comes, I'll accept. I'm not going to duck no one. I'm not going to say no to anyone. Win, lose, draw, I'll get in there and have it and do the best I can. And hopefully the bigger names, the bigger shows and the bigger opportunities is do, do, do come. So the city knows, that, like the box, all, all the promoters know that I'm, I'm willing to say yes. So it's just if they want me to box one of their kids, now hopefully it happens. Yeah. Do, do you sell many tickets for your first three fights? Yeah, um, well, funny enough, I boxed on a, I was meant to box September last year and that whole show got cancelled. I've, I've had a nightmare. I only got put on the, my first fight. I got put on the 15th of October with Serge with two weeks' notice. And I've done 121, I think, in two weeks. And then on Dexter, I only I boxed Dexter on a day's notice. I got told the day before that fight. Um, well, I got told on a Wednesday, sorry. I said, yeah, Wednesday. I got weighed in Thursday and I boxed for Friday. So I done eighty, I think I done eighty tickets in a day, um, and then on a box last week I've done one hundred and twenty odd again. So I don't do too bad. I do all right, and I also do more with good, good time and good preparation. Yeah. I'm not do you always bad, do you always go in there confident? Um, I think every fighter's got to go in there confidence. I do get nervous. I do think every fighter does it. If they don't, the line. Um, Obviously, but when especially especially when you're fighting in front of your own crowd and you've got like you do well on your tickets and like you like I had all my family, I had my kids there. You you want to do good and that's that's what disappointed me more on the last show. I had all my kids wings I had all my family there and I got a draw, but it was a good fight. So like I'm not I'm not upset about it because it was a great fight and it was fight of the night as well. So you know what I mean I'll accept that, but I want the wins and I do want to do well. So I'm, I'm confident of getting in the ring with anybody. I'm not scared of getting in with nobody and hopefully I'll do well against anybody. Yeah, I, I thought you won your last fight. I do and everyone's everyone's like allowed their own opinion, but I watched the back. After the fight, I weren't too sure because obviously I, I would just come out of it and it was a tough fight and I took a few I, I took a few punches that did land clean and that, that's what wobbled me a bit, but when I watched the back, I watched the back ten times over, and I believe, apart from the last round, I believe I won each round like comfortably, but each to their own opinion. He caught me, he caught me good in the first round, but I, I recovered well, and I brought it back to him, and I pushed him back throughout the that fight. Apart from catching me with a good couple of shots, he didn't do much, and I thought I was the busier fighter. So, but. I'm not going to be upset with a draw because it was a tough fight and it was a close fight, but I do believe being a home fighter and I've done well, I believe I, I deserve to win, but I'm not the judge, so it is what it is. I've, do you do you have any regrets of boxing that Dexter on a day's notice? Yeah, I, yeah, because I've got, a, I've got a loss and a stoppage on my record now and I shouldn't have... Um, not so soon. Anyway, I don't believe anyone at light middleweight could stop me. Not um, I'm I'm a strong fighter and I come to fight. But I'm not. To be honest, I, I know I'm, I've got regrets at boxing Dexter because he's been. Like, I'm, I've known him for years, and that's only a regret that I, I shouldn't have took it. But I say, if someone phones to box me, I'm not going to say no. They phone for me. I didn't phone for them, and. I was meant to box in December, which got caught, well, got cancelled. So I was just happy for the payday more than anything. And at the time, I believed that I believed that I was better than him. I still, I still believe that I could have done better. I just went in, I went fit, I went in camp. But he's, I underestimated them a lot, and I did. I underestimated them a lot because he, he's quite a. Like, he likes he likes to wait on his opponents. He doesn't like to get busy as much. So I like to be busy. So I'm just a. Um, it was a lesson. It was a lesson. I shouldn't have took the fight and I took it and it was just a lesson. I was too keen for me on good. He was yeah. just too big. He was massive. He was an absolute massive man. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so you're going, you're moving down away, are you? 
Yeah, I'm gonna come down. Well, the box. I'm middle. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and come down as much as I can because the, the way that I'm boxing now, it, it's it's too big for me. It is too big. I'm doing. I'll do all right. I can hold my own, but I'm making it's hard work. It's hard work. It's too big for me. So I'm gonna try and come down a bit. So you'll make that that weight easier. Um, losing weight's never easy for any fighter, <laughs> and if they tell you any different, the line. Um. But I'm not that much. I'm not that much above the lower weight. You know I mean, but it's there's not really a lot left on me to lose. So that's the struggle that I do diet. You know I mean, the diet and it's the diet is a bit of a struggle. And I I am older now, so it's a bit harder for me. Yeah. Are you so on the 11th of June? Are you fighting at your new weight? Hopefully, we haven't. We haven't. I haven't been. I haven't spoken to my coach about what's the next plan. What the next move is. But it's not going to be no super middleweights, I can tell you that. Like, it's definitely not going to be no super middleweights. Yeah. Who's your favourite fighter currently? Currently? Um, that's a question, that. To be honest, I'm more old school. My my favourites are the old ones, Ricky Atten and Joe Calzaghi. They're the ones I grew up with, and they're the ones that I do like to watch and still watch back on. I um, Currently, though... It's got to be Tyson Fury, and I think he's everyone's current favourite at the moment, isn't he? Did you watch his last fight against White? No, uh, well, to be honest, I boxed the same night, didn't I? I boxed oh, the yeah. same night. And it was, on, it was on in the arena after it, but I just, I literally missed the fight. So I just, I, I, it was still, everyone was all over the place. So, I, um, it was on, but I watched it, but I didn't watch it properly. Ah. Uh. So, if you had to pick a favourite, um, it's Tyson Fury currently. Um, just called, just off the top of my head, currently, yeah, just off the top of my head. I haven't really got a favourite at the moment. I don't think there's that much out there at the minute that's really Liam Smith done well the other day, so he's up in the runs and he, he he's in, he's coming back. He's got a good last couple of good wins, so hopefully he'll, he'll do start something new again. Yeah, Liam Liam Smith is a good fighter. He is, he is, isn't he? Very good. Yeah. What made you, what got you into boxing? Uh, my older brother, my older brother got me into boxing when I was a young boy. Your brother's a boxer, is he? Um, He was, he passed away some time ago now, sadly, but he got me into boxing when I was a young boy, yeah. Really? So, so is your... um. Are you dedicating your career to him? Um, well, to be honest, when me walk out tunes his favorite song, and I do wear his like I've got, I've got his initials on me uh, on my shorts and I rest in peace. But there, but most, it, is, it is for him, but it's also for me as well. It's for both of us. It's for both of us. But it, I wouldn't be where I am if I weren't for him. So, and I wouldn't be doing what I, I'm doing if I weren't for him. So, yeah, you can say I'm doing it for him as well, mate. Yeah. What was his record? Um, he would never box professional, sadly enough. He, um, he used to an amateur boxer. He died to, when he was 19, so we never um, had a chance, sorry. But he he had quite a few amateur fights. Like he was a, he was a scrapper. Yeah. Did you have any amateur fights? Yeah, I mean, I had quite a few. Um, I had about 50, just over 50, maybe about 56, I can't remember. It was definitely over 50, though. My first amateur fight was in 2005, 2004, and um, it was a long time ago now. But boxed quite a few, boxed a good few names, boxed a few good people. Yeah. How many um, did you win? Oof, a good question, that. can't even remember me winning a loss now. Um, I think I had... 56 around 50 and I won 30s in my 30s I remember it's a long so time ago so a good amateur then I was all I, I, weren't, I weren't the best I weren't the worst I was a fighter I, I, I come to I, I like to guard with me um, <laughs> I like to guard guard punches with my face Um, I was a fighter I, I, when, I, when I when I boxed as an amateur there's a lot of um, point scoring a lot of point scoring the um, I don't know if you know about it, the scoring system, but there was point scoring back then. Where, where it went like 10 9 scoring, it was points, and it was it didn't fit my style of fighting at all. And my last time, my last amateur fight was seven years ago, so I've been out the ring for some time now, so it's been a long time since 
I can't even remember half most of it. Yeah. What's your favourite punch in a fight? Um, left hook to body, left hook to the head, I'll finish with a big white hands. Yeah. Um, my final question is, do you have any advice for people who want to do boxing? Um, advice to anyone who sticks to boxing who wants to do boxing, stay in the gym, stay focused, stay healthy and stay clean and just focus on boxing. Put, put the time into it. If you don't put the time into it, you won't get the time back. You won't get the the rewards back. This sport is not for the faint heart. You've got to do. You've got to do your homework. As you say, you've got to do the work. You've got to put the effort in. And if you don't, then you won't, you won't receive what you want. And just stick at it. Go for it. Everything can happen in boxing. Anything can happen at all. Everything can happen with one punch. One single punch can end any fight. So you've got to have that belief that you can do that to anyone and just go for it. And that's my belief. Yeah. Do you want to shout out any of your sponsors or your manager who's helped you um, so far? Yeah, well, I'll shout out some of my sponsors. I've got Fat Boy Burgers, Fat Boy Bullies, Bouncy Kings, MDM Fabrications and Welding, ADM Meats, Power Prep Meals, Shop First. And RW Roofing Specialists, they're my sponsors that have helped me so far right the way through. You've got a lot of sponsors, mate. I know, I've got a few, I've got a few, mate. They all, they all do me good. They all do me good. Couldn't do, do, do a lot of them without it. Hopefully I can come to support you on the 11th of June and the 11th of June you get your second win, mate. I hope so too. Well, I'm going for it, mate. So let me know if you want to be there, 100%. Thank you for your time, mate. Nice one. Take care, mate. Okay. Thank you.